Hey you guys, it's your skinny boy Randy. This video was not planned. I just happened to come out to check on the garden and I noticed something's been munching on our plants. Can y'all see that? They've been eating. Then I noticed over here, this one was eating up really bad. So, upon further inspection, look at that. Green worms. They're out already, you guys. So, I'm going to show you an easy way to protect your garden before they get a hold of everything in here. Okay? I don't see any more anywhere else, but I'm going to treat the entire area. But, yep, these worms will eat you out of house and the home. And we ain't got no money for that. So let's just dive right into the video. Okay, you guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you how I mix up my worm destroying concoction and it's quite simple all you're gonna need is a little dish soap some BT which stands for baculus thuringiensis what it is is a bacteria that stops the life process of the cabbage worms the horn worms all those worms eating up your vegetables and caterpillars and things like that then you're going to need a spray bottle with some water in it. That's all you're going to need. Okay? So what I'm going to do, make sure I'm capturing this, you guys. Turn my camera around. Okay. Can y'all see me? It's not about me. It's about getting rid of these worms, you guys. As I showed you before, when going out, always go out and inspect your garden daily, you guys. Daily. And look what we found. Can y'all see that? It's like two of them. A big one and a little one right there. Green worms. And they destroyed this little baby plant. I mean, they ate good. They ate real good. Okay? See them right there? There they are. So we want to make sure we're going to protect the garden by spraying it down with a BT spray. The dish detergent will act as a surfactant and all that means is it'll help the uh, liquid mixture stick to the leaves of the plant and, you know, stay on the plant. So, all I do, just get a little teaspoon. If you don't know what a teaspoon is, it's the smallest spoon that you normally have. It's probably a teaspoon. Mix this up. And it's like a greenish color. Then I'm just going to pour a little bit into this teaspoon. Just like that. And drop it in there. That's all you need. That's all you need. Most call for one tablespoon per gallon. So, four of these equals a gallon. So we're just going to use one teaspoon. Then we're going to take a couple just a couple drops of dish soap there you go just like that and there you have your mixture you guys it's not rocket science give that a good shape and you can treat a large area with this okay so let's head on back over to the garden I'm going to show you how I apply it Okay, you guys. Now, before you spray your garden, what you want to do is go ahead and harvest anything that's ready to be harvested. Like these turnips, they are ready to be harvested. I see a couple of holes in there. There may be some slugs, but I'm going to inspect those for worms as well. But I'm going to go ahead and harvest these before I spray on our treatment. That way, it's less cleaning I have to do to the turnip greens, and I don't want to freshly spray them and waste you know good uh, 
uh, insect repellent and then have to rinse it right off. So I'll be right back after I harvest these turnips. Okay, you guys, so I picked the turnip rings and left the center leaves so they can keep producing. And now all you want to do is come in <clears throat> and spray your plants. Just spray them. Try to get up under the bottom, close to the stem, where the worm is going to climb up. And they love attacking broccoli. So make sure you just spray it very good. And we found um, a huge worm over here on these turnips and a whole bunch of worm poop. So we want to make sure we're covering the entire guard area with this spray. Okay. And that's all you do. And you can do this, I would say once every two weeks. Just come through, spray them off, and I'm going to get more up under the leaves, but I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time, you guys, so forgive me. And that's how you do it. Try to get those pests out of your garden, you guys. Remember, live, love, laugh, grow stuff and eat it. I hope this helps you out just a little bit. It's your garden with Skinny Boy Randy. I love you. You're the best.